Welcome to His Easels. Today we're going to talk about the uh, new product called the Palette Pal Still Life Combo. Uh, what we're going to have is the, a Palette Pal. This is a device that you can put your palette on, your brushes, your, your paints and whatnot. It comes with a drop leaf. It comes up on each side. This will allow you to put some of your supplies, a little border around it so the stuff doesn't roll off. Have one on the other side. We have a drawer. Has three inches of depth, so you can put some supplies in there. I know you're not going to put them all in there, but you can put what maybe you're working on with this particular painting. Right now, the unit does come on casters, uh, but right at this point, the uh, unit is at 32 inches. It's good height for sitting. If you want to stand, it would be too low. So what we have is a hydraulic cylinder in there that allows the unit to come up to 40 inches, even as eight inches of travel. At 40 inches, this is a nice height for the standing. Now, I know a lot of people have their favorite chair and whatnot. And we use 32 to 40, but we could also use 24 to 32. We could use 28 to, uh, to 34. You just let us know, you know what that lowest height would be that's most comfortable for you when you're sitting and painting. And then we can add the 8 inches of travel to that for the standing height. So, not necessarily cut in stone. 30 and uh, 40. 32 and 40 is just our standard. So we can lock this. Now, <coughs> excuse me, uh, let's say we wanted to add some references maybe to, uh, to the back side of this so that we can be looking at uh, the subject matter that we're painting and have them hanging. Well, through the still life stand, I'm gonna lower this back down. Through the still life stand that we've uh, designed for this, you can actually do that. What we do is we have four legs that's going to come up from each corner. And we have them at different heights. We have one set at two feet and one set at three feet. Uh, three feet would be, of course, higher, so you're going to get more background for the still life, more for the references, or the two foot would be less. So we're going to, we're going to start off by demonstrating the two foot ones. But we're going to take one of the rods and we're going to put it in this back corner. And we're going to take another one of the two foot rods and put it in this corner. And we have a crossover, which connects these rods together, like so. Now, with this rod coming across, we can actually take uh, uh, clothespins or clips, and we can put references across here, which really would work out nice, because now you can see what you're painting uh, reference here in your colors. So we're just picking them up here. Pick another one. On the other side, we have one in the center. You can take two or three together. Still got our paint here, so we're looking at our colors, and then we're going to our evil, which will probably be over here. Uh, let's say now we want to add a third side. Maybe we want some references over here. We're slowly building the still life stand, as you can see. But we can take the third leg, put it in here. Then we have our front to back crossover. Snap into here. Now we have a spot that we can put another reference if we want it. So, so you can see now we've actually got a good spot to view our colors, canvases. We're ready to go. Now let's say we want to go to the still white stand, a device that most people say they like to have with uh, covered with white. They like to have three walls to it to get away from uh, any other colors around it. What we'll do is we'll take these references off. We'll add the fourth leg to the next corner. We'll use our crossover. Back. Okay, now. We're just going to use a sheet, but you could use any type of fabric uh, to cover it with. Take the sheet. Okay, now we can take our still life. We'll just use this for an example. We can set it in here. Um, if we wanted it a little higher, we could put a cardboard box or something underneath of it. But remember, this having up and down movement, if we want 
ground is higher, we can basically turn the knob, put it at the height that we want. We can also, let's say we wanted to lean something against the back, maybe some books or something like that. You could also take and slide in a piece of cardboard from one of these posts to the other post that you have a, a wall back there in a sense. And this would allow you then to lean something against it. Um, it's a very versatile piece of equipment. Uh, not only can you use it for the still up, but you could use it for painting. Uh, so I think you, you would really enjoy this. I think it's a great addition to any studio. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about the, the product, we're always open to those. Uh, please uh, email us and let us know. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And again, thank you for uh, watching the video with Hughes Easels.